Let's look into pipe editing and also how we can edit or copy equipment and steel. As you look at this model, you, you see now a complete model based from extra from all disciplines, as you see, equipment, steel, piping and so on, and also the inventor part. To explain this, I select the top view. What I want to do, I will add a pipe from the inventor part to my pump. I also want to change the tag number on this valve so we can use the validation tools to find the difference between the PND and the 3D piping. I also want to add a new tank and that tank should be 4 meters to the right. In that case, I of course have to move the steel and also the piping. And uh, this will take approximately 3 minutes. So uh, let's see if we can do it in 3 minutes. So I close this one. The first thing I start with will be the steel model. So I will open the steel model. Open steel model. Now I will show you how you can easily use stretch command from AutoCAD. Use all the AutoCAD commands. In this case, a stretch command. So what I do, I select stretch, select what I want to stretch and then from base point and then again 4000 millimeters in angle zero and also of course they have to move the foundation save this model easy a stretch let's take a look then you can see how it looks like very easy save it and then go out close it then we open the equipment model and then we use the command copy function ordinary copy function select what you want to copy select the base point and give it a direction distance and direction in this case we want it to be 4000 millimeters in angle zero that's it Now we have the new tank. Okay, so that's nice. Then we save this one. And then go out. Then we open the piping model. When we open the piping model, I save the pipe model with the XREF. So let's see how that looks like. As you see, this is now totally wrong. So you see the steel is moved and the tank is there and what we want to do now is actually move this pipe. So, the only thing I need to do, take a window around it, and again, to show you how easy it is, then select hide, and in this case I want to hide the equipment, and I want to hide the steel, and also hide the inventor part. Then again, stretch, crossing, and base point, 4000 in angle 0. And that's it. If to show you a little more about the stretching, if this case I want to move this little bit, in this case, I want to decrease the size between these things. Then I select the component, select the move part, and then I move the whole thing. As you see, very simple. Everything connected follow with it. So, let's show all again. As you see, everything is now correct on the pipe rack compared to the equipment and the pipe. Well. That took one half minute. Then we also want to have the same pipe, not the same pipe, but the same routing as this one. Okay, very easy actually. We do a copy on this one too. I select the ISO view. Again, hide components, equipment, steel. And then take a zoom in to my components. Easy enough, select copy. This pipe, 
base point and then alpha 4000 in angle 0 that's it and then I want to connect this together so only thing I do remove the elbow and then select the pipe I can zoom in a little bit so you see what's actually happened here when I select the pipe you will see a plus sign and that means I can continue on with the pipe and that's what I want to do so I just select the plus sign and then connect to the elbow and that's connected and as you see as the little drop here it says this pipe is open not for long actually I select it the plus sign and near to the pipe and select and now it's connected that's the only thing you have to do for do this and then again show all and everything is connected to finish this so you can see what's going on then I can also again connect the pipe between the inventor part and the pump select hide select equipment actually I couldn't do that <laughs> then all the equipment will disappear I select a different view that's the only thing I need to do okay select now will I create a new pipe from start so I select new pipe new pipeline give it a size in this case 6 inch spec AC21 and the line number 9999 and assign from this case node point of the tank and then node points on my pump and you also have the ability to use the auto routing if you want and that seems like a good choice accept and that's it then which said about the valve this one I want to change select it it should be a flanged valve okay I select a gate and then it will be a flanged gate that's done I also want to change the tag number and remember it was 349 was the last tag number on this one I go to properties and select new tag number In this case I give it GA 999 assign As I said, we move the whole thing, move the steel, add the equipment, change the pipe, add the new pipe with use of ordinary AutoCAD commands. That took about 3 minutes.